Hey guys, Eclipse 14 here, and welcome back to Stick Ranger. Alright, so we did a bit of grinding of a grind podcast last episode, so we're all the way up to level 65. And our stuff has increased since then also. Looking pretty nice. So we've got Hell 1 and Force 3 to do. We're going to run Hell 1 first. Let's see what we can do here. See if anything changes. So right now, um... Yeah, this is the last area of the game, is the hell section, which is already very difficult as it is. These guys have 15,000 LP, and Boxer's already dead, Jesus. Um, this gets hard. Oh god, already we're getting killed. Well, uh, so much for that. <laughs> then, I, then again, I've completely forgotten. This weapon is god. Try this again. Except this time, actually use it. I also have the reflection. I also have the knockbacks card on with the knockback 90, so it should be fun just watching them just fly all over the place. Actually, no, it's going. It's going in a direction that's just making them fly differently. Oh well. There we go. Now we're hitting everybody. So I guess at this instance, I'm gonna go ahead and berserk card. This way I can blast through this without too many problems. Yep, it's smooth sailing. So I'm just going to sit right there. I've got enough on Aguirre as it is, so I'm not too worried. Boom! We're done! All that's left is that one fire guy right at the edge. So let's just take him out too. Oh, that works. And done. Dunzo! Next screen. Oh god, we got two of them. So, basically just hold them off and wait for a freeze. All right. Once I get it. Oh God! There's the. Uh, that's the uh, knockback card just going ape shit, which may have just screwed us. <laughs> oh God! It, it's killing. It's killing boxer. There we go. Let, let's let's get back to where we need to be. So I'm just gonna leave the. Uh... Oh, God. oh my God! It's actually screw me over. Although it is freaking hilarious. It's absolutely hilarious, though. This is a fun weapon. This is a fun card. Alright. Uh, actually, I'm just going to recover until I actually get enough on a Geary, and then I'm going to Berserk card. Alright, Berserk card. We got to get through this somehow. We need to cut through Mordor. That is the goal. We need to break through Mordor. And we're not going to be doing that, sitting around, throwing everybody at 90 range. Although it is pretty hilarious, I will say that. These freaking fire guys are annoying though. So we've at least cleared two screens um, at this point. Technically, I'd call it cleared because Big Icicle is God. Okay. Now let Sniper take most of that because he needs it. Shit! This one Firewalker is going to be annoying. He's going to be the most annoying. So yeah, um, <laughs> that knockback card's a really bad idea, but hey, it was funny. I could go back to Miss Grove 3 and get myself another big icicle. It's not that hard to grab. And in fact, that might be what I have to do. <laughs> yeah, let's just let's just go grab it. Let's just go grab a, another big icicle. These guys are easy as hell anyway, and they do drop a decent amount of gold too. 
And seriously, one one hit kills him. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And these guys are the ones that drop it. So. Nothing. Okay. But yeah, I do need a big icicle that's not screwed up. Because <laughs> I screwed up mine with that knockback's card. <laughs> knockback's card is pretty funny, though, at times. You can really screw people. You can really screw enemies up big time with it. By just appearance. Okay, that one didn't work. The last screen is nothing but the poison wheels again, so we'll just move on. There it is. There's the big icicle. So, I'll just skip through this one more time. And we're good. That wasn't too bad. Alright, so let's trade out these and just sell the stuff we got. <laughs> oh, that was funny. But, we need to get serious and actually clear Hell 1. So let's go ahead and just move back to the first screen. These guys don't dr these guys don't really drop anything, though. It's just a couple jewels. So I'm not exactly the most worried about this stage. Except I did forget to put that in and I fucked up big time. So now we're in the third screen. Let's actually get this started. Um, the main threat is this walker. The walker is the biggest threat because he's just throwing shit everywhere. Once I blast him out, we're good. Alright, so now we've got the, uh, we've got most of the party taken care of. We just need to recover enough, just enough to be able to actually start Berserk guarding. And that will eventually wipe everybody to pieces. It's not easy to do this, though. So. Alright, I'm gonna just, nope, there's the bullet. Damn it. Alright, I'm gonna just Berserk right here. Alright, there goes the, uh, there goes the walker. So that's a good sign. I'm going to go ahead and move back here. It's probably a bad decision. Yeah, I needed to do that just to get them away from the gate. And with that, we should be fine. I'll just leave Berserk card on. And we're good. Oh, gotta love that 50-60 agility, which is actually the cap for the Magician. The lowest agility he's got is 50. So unless I have a Quicks card, I should actually get a Quicks card for this, because he will want that to be very useful. Oh, shit. Um, Alright, skip the screen. Move on. We will break through this wall if it's the last thing I do. We're going to go ahead and move to the fourth screen. Technically, it's the same thing. We've got, we don't have the, uh, we don't have the, um, we don't have the firewalkers this time. So it's not as bad, but it's still obnoxious. Fire is still very, very obnoxious. So what I'm going to do here is go straight through the center. Okay, hold up. I know exactly what I need to do. Uh, get you back and not die. I need to get the magician to not die. 
get the magician to deal with this. I'll let the gladiator take care of you. You deal with this idiot. And Dunzo, everything is pretty good. Unless the magician dies again, which is probably about to be likely. All right, that one's been killed, so he's not. And that's not too worrisome now. The only problem with the the only problem with my glider is that I don't have a second weapon with criticals and berserk card. I just made a modified vampires and criticals, which is fine. It does it does its job. It's just slow. I never killed you, berserk. And there we go. That's done. Alright, you take all the Onigiri. You grab all that. I'm gonna go ahead and revive the Sniper and make him take Onigiri also. Good thing Vampire's... Not, it's not Vampire's card. It's freaking, um... It's, uh... It's not Onigiri's card. Okay, so we got... Fire everywhere. Lots and lots of fire everywhere. Jesus, this is this is a war zone. This is the war zone we've been waiting for. Alright, I know exactly what I need to do, I think. I just gotta get the magician to stay alive. And let my boxer be bait. Yeah, let my boxer serve as a temporary bait. Let me get... Yeah, let me focus on this one first. Actually, no. Three at a time would suck. That Yeah, I, the middle one was actually the better choice for me. Berserk. Berserk. Berserk card is God. Oh, you guys are done already. Well, shit. Alright, I know what to do. Yeah, I don't need the uh, big icicle anymore. I'm just gonna electric shock this one. Yeah, if it's this few left, I'm gonna switch to this. Ooh, Garnet 6. Not bad. I might actually use that for uh, Lava 6. Actually, no, I'd probably use Ruby 6. Ruby 6 is what I'd really want. All Garnet does is just extend the length of the uh, wall, which sometimes really isn't the best. So I'm just going to sell that. Yeah, Garnet's awesome, but in this instance, for me, it's not really practical. Alright, moving on. And all that's left is just a bunch of triangle heads. <laughs> well, you know how this is going to go. Yeah, I think you know how this works. So I'm just going to sit here and watch the fun. This is something I'm going to be doing quite often when there's mass amounts of enemies. Just have the Boxer and Gladiator use their Vampire's card. And just stay... And just don't die. They just don't die. It's so great. It's so fantastic. It's just... It's amazing. So now we got a boss to deal with, which is our first enemy we're going to kill that has over 100,000 LP. In this instance, it's 150, which is higher than the Force 3 boss, but at the same time is not as obnoxious. It's just got a more, it's just a more powerful uh, walker in this instance. So, all right, every one of you is gone. Let me electric shock. Go ahead and take all that. And I guess it's safe to Berserk card this one. Alright, boss time. So we got 20 of these guys, and then the boss that actually... His bullet actually does do damage. So what I'm going to need to do... Basically, I need to kill off the walker. I need to kill off the stickman as quickly as possible. Kill them off, and then I can deal with the boss without any difficulties.
All right, now that they've grouped up, let's do this. Let's do this. Shit. Yeah, that 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 arc sucks. The arc from these guys, they it sucks. Oh god. Guys, little help here. Oh shit. Um okay, I know what to do now. At this point, I can actually bring in the boxer and temporarily run a berserk card hit for a few hits. Move him slightly out of the way. Berserk card. Yeah, I'm going to be pausing a lot here. Here come the stickmen now. I'll bring Gladiator up. So now I can actually handle the stickmen with relative ease. Unless they die like they did right now. Yeah, this boss is a massive threat, but it's not as annoying as the boss in Force 3. Considering it's got 400 poison damage, and this one's only dealing a couple hundred apiece, it's, it's the fire damage that's annoying. Their mechanic, it's the, the mechanics of fire damage is really stupid. Because it runs pretty much every frame. Alright, stickmen are getting killed. I think it's safe to actually, like, electric shock the boss. So, I'm just gonna pull out this, and let's go. Let's have a fun time. Except you died first off. Let me switch to Ice Meter instead. Yeah, Ice Meter will actually slow this frickin' Firestorm down. It'll slow down the Firestorm to the point where I can actually save myself. Alright, I'm berserking. Which in turn was a very bad idea, but... Yeah, eventually I'm gonna have to rotate between Vampire's card and Berserk card. The Healing Claw and the Attack Claw. Healing Claw, Berserk Claw. That's kind of how I mark them. Although I haven't been saying that that much. Yeah, the Healing Claw is obviously the Vampire's on Agiris and the... Berserk Claw is the Critical's Berserk. I'm safe. Nuke! And I just gotta do this for 150,000 LP. Which is annoying, but hey, it works. Annoying, but practical. God, more fire everywhere. Alright, so we're almost done. I think we're down to like 40,000 or something like that. Oh no, uh, Magician magician went out. For, I think we'll be fine. I think Boxer will be fine by himself. It's all up to the Boxer. And he's got it. Ooh, Heals card. So this guy actually has the very first heals card in the game and has the chance to drop level 2 as well. Um, heals card is pretty weird. It's kind of hard to explain. Um, something about, um, I think only priests and angels use it are the ranged characters. That's not the magician. Or something. I don't... It's kind of hard to really explain this one. It's really hard to explain it. I haven't really used it all that much either, which makes things even worse. But, I'm not going to worry about it too much. I'm just going to go ahead and sell them and call it a video because it's been a while and we've accessed Hell 2. Which begins our journey into Mordor and I am ready for it. Alright, that's the video. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time.